Hey everybody, welcome back to this Compact Presario V6000 laptop. So in my previous set of videos, I installed Windows 11 on this thing, and I'll put a card in the upper right corner to the first video of that series. And here is Windows 11 22H2 on here, running. Not running the best, it's a little glitchy, we did have a blue screen of death in the previous video. But let's go and show you the specs on this machine real quick. So here are the system specs. Currently I have Windows 11 Pro 22H2 on this thing. And of course this machine does not meet the Microsoft Elite class most system requirements from Windows 11. We have a Turion 64 dual core CPU, TL50, 1.6 gigahertz, 4 gigabytes of DDR2 memory. We have a 256 gigabyte solid state drive installed. That being said, I have loaded in a USB flash drive of Windows 10, and that is a moth up there in case somebody wonders in the comments. That's what, you ha that's what happens when you have the uh, back door open because it's a nice breezy night outside. Moth just wants to be part of the video, I guess. But anyways, let's go ahead and begin installation of Windows 10 on this thing. So we're going to put, going to put Windows 10 22H2 on here. And we shall see if the process of installing Windows 10 is a bit more smooth than Windows 11. And no, it's not because this machine doesn't meet the Windows 11 minimum system requirements. Oh, I'm sorry, the Microsoft Elite class requirements. And let's see if the process of installing Windows 10 is smoother than Windows 11. Let's go and take a shortcut, shall we? Okay, let's go ahead and boot off our flash drive. Okay, it's going to get started. Okay, we'll let this install. Let's see if it will successfully install on its own. Okay, we completed installation without having to force it on here like we do with Windows 11. 
So let's go ahead and run through the uh, out of box setup here. And I have disconnected the network cable. Okay, we are in. And you can see that uh, that CPU was pegged out. Now, Task Manager says that we have a hard drive, but we actually have an SSD. So, you can see that there are SBCC solid state disk. First thing we need to do is get this graphics driver figured out and we'll probably have to do the same thing we did to Windows 11. We're going to force install the graphics driver on here. Okay, I don't remember which one this was. I think it was this one here. We'll see if we have to disable um, sign driver and force and we may have to. Let's give it a shot first. Yep, same thing. So for example, yeah, it says driver is not digitally signed and it will probably, I'm guessing, let's see if it does the same thing that Windows 11 did. Yep, so what we're going to do is hold shift, restart. We need to disable signed device driver enforcement. All right, number seven, disable device signature enforcement. Okay, so let's rinse and repeat. Okay, so we now have our graphics driver installed. And what to do now is go into display settings and force our proper resolution. So it is acting kind of similar to how it did in Windows 11, where it it acts like it has two displays when there's only one display. Okay, so here we are. Let's get that out of the way. But, uh, let's go ahead and free up our taskbar of unneeded junk. There, much better. We're going to settings. Go to time. Yeah, Pacific time. So what's happened is, uh, let me see what happens here when I adjust it to Eastern time. <laughs> it thinks it's three in the morning and it's not. This is so ridiculous. Come on, Microsoft. Why, why is it so difficult? Why can you not simply ask for the date and time settings in OOBE? Like you did with Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows XP, Windows Me, Windows 2000, Windows 98. 
heck, when is 95 even, I think? It's been a while since I've installed 95, but uh, I think it even did too. You know, you know, ask the important questions. Stuff more important than Cortana and advertising ID and that garbage. So, let's get something else off the task bar here. And, of course, we need to pull up our task manager and get our nice blue box here. Which is supposed to be a graph, but of course on this machine it's going to look like a blue box about all the time. So you can see, of course, our CPU is pegged out 100%. <laughs> you can see we're at 67 degrees now. It's funny, I said in my previous video, um, or at least our CPU core is getting up there close to 66, 67. I said in my previous video that I would expect we would probably hit 70 degrees C. We'll see if it happens or not, I don't know. But what we're going to do now is pull up Windows Update, and I'm sure once we do that, it's going to begin hunting for updates. It probably already has. Oh yeah, it's already... That's why our CPU usage is wide up because it's already begun installing updates in the background. <laughs> Love this. Get ready for Windows 11. Yeah, sure. We already know this computer does not meet the Microsoft Elite class since it's a requirement run Windows 11. So... Anyways, I guess since that's going on, let me go ahead and install a couple of things real quick. We'll do what we did on the previous um, video. We'll install Chrome and Firefox. Give this thing some more work to do. I mean, we're trying to hit that highest score of 70. See, our sound is working. We got Firefox installing. Oh, <laughs> I see Edge is updating too. And there's Chrome. Okay. And again, we can see that CPU usage is wide open, just where we want it. I mean, it's it's chilly in here. No, not really. But let's say it's chilly in here. We're trying to warm things up in here. We want to keep. We want to make sure we keep that CPU pegged at 100% at all times. I mean, we pay for that CPU. We may as well use it all, all the time at all times. It's like that saying about the speedometer. You pay for the whole speedometer. You use the whole speedometer. No, I don't suggest you go on the highway and do 120. Not very smart. But uh. Firefox just completed installation and of course it will launch when we don't really want it to launch. Get out the way. Alright, so Chrome is going to begin installing. Again, CPU pegged 100%. Actually, I got a little bit of a break there. There's Chrome. Yeah, the race is on. Yeah, we're we're beating the snot out of this whole thing. Oh yeah, nice and toasty back there, but I don't smell it yet. In the other video, I actually could smell the thing. It was getting so hot. So we're going to let this thing do its thing and come back. Just look at that. 100% all the time here on this graph. Just where we want it. Oh, there's a little bit of a divot there. Okay, so it's the next night and this thing has gone to sleep. Curious to see if it's finished installing updates or not. Let's see if it can wake it up.
Okay, so I was able to wake it back up and it's not acting super glitchy like it did with Windows 11. So uh, let's see where we are now. And of course, we got our blue box down there. Because the CPU is wide open. Has to be expected. Looks like it did restart. <clears throat> of course, got all the all the apps over here. We need to get rid of them. All these tiles, I mean. Can't stand the live tiles. <laughs> but, um, let's have a look in settings at Windows Update. And let's see where we are with updates on this thing. And of course, it's found some more updates to download and install. Let's see what we have for optional. Okay, we do have some drivers. So let's go ahead and install all of these. Come on, thing. This can't be that difficult. So let this thing continue installing updates. Okay, so this thing had uh, went to sleep again, and I resumed it from sleep, and it's glitching out. Lovely graphics. So we're gonna go ahead and restart it. I mean, it needs to restart anyway because of driver installation. So apparently this wasn't just a Windows 11 kind of thing. Probably has to do with that graphics driver. Or probably just the graphics on this system. Given that it was a common issue with these machines. It's kind of hard to keep up with everything when it's doing that. Lovely as ever. Okay, so we're back in now. Let's go ahead and do one more check for updates. To see if maybe we'll be in the clear. Alright, start when you got the way. <laughs> Okay, so we got a uh, Windows Defender Antivirus update. So go ahead and install that, and now that, that was it. That's all it needed was that quick installation. <laughs> Didn't take long at all. So we're gonna wrap it up for this video. Um, in the next one, we'll be doing the same kind of testing as we did with Windows 11. We'll do some web browsing, and we'll do a startup test um, to test how long it takes to actually start up and I imagine it will be a little faster on Windows 10 than it was on Windows 11 so anyways uh, definitely be on the lookout for that coming soon so anyways that wraps up for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching hey everybody thanks for taking the time to watch this video from Cuckoo channel if this is your first time please subscribe to the channel and be sure to tick the bell so we get notified new video posts Please like this video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, and share this video as well as the channel with your friends and get the word out. Also, I have a second channel that's Comp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos about thunderstorms and weather, cycling, and videos about me personally. Feel free to subscribe over there as well if you like. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for your support.